Good morning and welcome to Thursday with the experts. 大家早上好，欢迎来到星期四专谈。我们今天有大维纳 ，We have Darwina with us, our psychologist， 我们的心理学家。Hi Darwina， 大维纳你好。Hi, ni hao, Alvin. Nice to be back here. It's glad to have you. 很开心有你跟我们一起分享这些知识。所以，我们今天要谈什么呢 ？What are we going to talk about today? Yeah, Alvin. So I was thinking, thinking, thinking about what to talk about today. Then I just want to share with you. Last、mm. week, I was on three homes, three days stay home quarantine because I had flu-like symptoms. I got runny nose, I got sore throat, I got no fever last. But I went to the doctors and they told me to stay home so that you know I wasn't able to go out of the house, not go to the office, couldn't buy food also. Then I started thinking, eh, actually this is getting more common. People are getting more isolated, or told to be getting more isolated, told to get more isolated, and they are also you know. Go, we we all went through the circuit breaker, and all of us were staying at home, not able to go out. So there are two things that I want to address today, which is isolation and loneliness. Because people who are isolated will also tend to get lonely. But then there's also a group of other people who are living with family and friends, but are also lonely. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. 嗯，大维纳说的就是上个星期他跟我分享了，他有这个感冒的症状，去看了医生，医生叫他在家里隔离三天。过后他就想了一下，嗯，哇，现在是很多人都在隔离，这样呃，我们会不会感到很孤独、很很寂寞呢？所以他想想，我们去年有这个啊、呃、阻断措施的时候，我们每个人都在家里，是不是那个时候很多人都会感到很孤独、感到很寂寞呢？所以啊，今天的课题就是我们要谈谈一下孤独和寂寞啊。这个孤独和寂寞不只是我们啊一个人住的时候会发生的，可是有时我们跟我们家庭朋友们一起住的时候，也可能会孤独，也可能会寂寞。呃、啊，所以我们这个孤独寂寞是不是很常见呢 ？Is loneliness and isolation getting pretty common? Hmm. I think actually it's really true. You 说的真的啊、uh, ，有有真的很对，因为我们有一些啊、uh, 出去的时候很怕啦。When we go out, we are a bit slightly afraid. We want to stay home more often. 我们要在家里长啊， uh, 因为怕和有点紧张，所以我们不要出去。这样一来，我们跟别人社交啦也是减少了。Interaction with other people have also、uh, reduced as well. But why is loneliness and isolation so important to talk about? 我们这个孤独和这个啊、uh, 寂寞为什么是一个很重要的课题呢？大维纳，你可以跟我们分享吗？大维纳 ，Can you share more with us? Of course, Alvin. So one of it is a noticeable increase of Singaporeans above 65 years old who are living alone. So right now, according to my statistics here,、mm. there is in 2016 there was 9.6 percent of people who are staying alone. But right now, 2020, 2020, 11.6 0 of people are living alone, and this is. Thirty thousand seniors who are living alone. So isn't that a very huge amount of people、mm. who are now staying alone? Okay, so it is pretty scary, and it's pretty obvious that now more people are isolated and more people are lonely. So I mentioned earlier, okay. So there's a second group of people who live amongst family and friends, but still、mm. feel lonely, and this is because they could be、uh, the the people that they are with, right? The people that they are around. Do not have that connection that they wish to have. So emotionally, they're not connected. So they are still pretty lonely. And of course, different phases of life. So maybe their family, their their children are already having their own family. So they no longer in that same level of、mm. um phase of life, lah. Basically. So why is it so important to talk about it? Is because there is a forty five percent risk. Of mental and physical decline, if someone keeps getting on feeling lonely,、mm -hmm. and a forty four fifty nine percent risk of death, even so, that is why we need to address this today. Hmm. Sorry, now show why. Why? 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 Why?
一六年到二零二零年，我们有两八线的这个乐龄朋友们啊、呃，增加了两八线的乐龄朋友们是独居老人 ，they stay alone， and this amounts to thirty thousand more seniors， 这就是三十多千多的这个乐龄朋友们是自己一个人住的，所以我们这个孤独还有这个寂寞是一个很重要的课题。第二个就是我们呃，可能跟朋友和家属我们一起住，可是我们还是能呃变成孤独或寂寞，呃，这、就是因为可能家庭朋友们在不同的生活的阶段啦、啊，呃，可能孩子有已经有自己的家庭了，所以呃不能能够呃可能呃跟关系没有那么好啦 o k t h e our relationship becomes a bit not not that well anymore. But why is this important? 这个为什么重要呢？因为如果我们会感觉孤独、感感觉寂寞的话，我们呃身体和心理上的健康啊、呃、会呃有比较高的几率会衰退，啊、呃、我们甚至死亡的几率也会增高。There's actually an increased risk of death, ah,、uh, connected to loneliness and also isolation. Hmm,、嗯、thinking about that, that is really very very scary. 听起来真的是很可怕，对吗？ Um, but are there different situations where people get ah、uh, more lonely or more isolated? 我们会不会有一些时候会比较感到比较孤独、比较寂寞呢？ Wow, actually, good question. You know, Alvin, and it's actually um quite surprising. You know that studies have shown right that people get more lonely during um or or they get more lonely and they show symptoms of depression even. During holiday season, your、mm. Christmas lah, your Chinese New Year, people do get lonely there. And then if they have high stress levels, people get even lonelier as well. And even during this pandemic that we go through from circuit breaker all the way to now, people are still feeling lonely, or when they isolate themselves, they feel lonelier. So、mm. people always think that you know Chinese New Year, um, Christmas, you know, family gatherings all together, they feel like, eh, you know, it is going to be very social. They have a lot of people around them, but they ask a group of people who do not have relatives, do not have close friends, and this makes them even more lonelier during this period of time, festive season, lah. Hmm. Okay. 大卫娜说的就是有三个不同的情况，我们会感到比较孤独。啊，比较寂寞。第一个就是我们的佳节期间，啊，因为我们有些朋友们可能在佳节期间看到别人跟家庭一起庆祝，可是他们就是一个人。Some of our friends are some of our seniors who actually live alone. See other seniors having ah、uh, their family gathered together, but they are alone. So that thing that increases their loneliness. Ah,、uh, 他们看到别的乐龄朋友们有他们的一起庆祝。会就导致自己感到比较孤独。第二个 ，second one， 就是啊、uh, ，is our increased stress level， 就是我们啊、uh, 增加这个压力比较大的时候，其实就会感到孤独和寂寞。第三个就是我们这个啊、uh, 疫情的期间，因为我们有这些限制，而导致我们啊、uh, 跟别人的接触减少了，所以啊、um, 会感到比较孤独，感到比较寂寞。现在我们已经了解为什么孤独和寂寞是那么重要的。Now we have already understood why loneliness and、uh, isolation is such an important topic to talk about. So what can we do about it?、Mm. 我们要怎样去克服孤独和这个啊、uh, 寂寞呢 ？Darina, can you share with us your tips today? Darina, 你可以跟我们分享你的提示吗 ？Okay, so I have five tips to share with you today. But the important thing here is it requires the individual or require our friends here to personally want to make a change in their lives. Okay, so remember it is better late than never. Hmm, Darina, 跟我们分享五个不同的提示。可是我们分享提示之前，我们要记住一点：如果你不是真心要改变的话，就是很难改变的。所以我们要记住一点，就是啊。没有太迟，只是啊、呃，你们要一定要改变的时候，不是太迟啦。要改变就能改变，好吗？所以，大维纳，大维纳 ，Let's go， share us your tips. Okay, number one, join a class or a club. So whether you like to do to join an art class, 
you like exercising, join an exercise class. You like gardening, join an exercise, a gardening club. Joining a class or a club gives you more exposure to a group of people who like things that you do. Okay, so you can check your local offerings, whether it's your SACs, your senior activity centers, community centers, and even active SG. Find out the activities that you can participate in mm. and join them. Very good, Darwina. I actually agree with you. It's actually more of like pursuing your interest and, and pursuing your mm. passion. Am I right? Darwina, I agree make more new friends in the in the process of joining this class. Common interest as well. Uh you guys would most likely be more approachable and communicate better as well because of the common interest. So you can check all these classes at your senior activity center. You can check these offerings at your CCs and your senior activity centers as well. So this is the first tip. Let's move on to our second tip. Okay, number two, volunteering. Okay, so volunteer is something that you believe that you'll be able to help others um, and meet people who are also interested in helping others and this create new experiences for you. Okay, it gives you more meaning in life. Actually, it decreases loneliness and it also gives you better happiness and life satisfaction. Also, when you are working with someone who has lesser than you, it gives you a deeper sense of gratitude um, for what you already have in your life. Hmm. Okay, so that is why volunteering is actually our second tip. So now let us move on to our third tip. Okay, tip number three will be practicing self-care. So when you are feeling lonely, um, you should also continue to start taking care of yourself in other ways, okay? So this will include making sure that you eat your nutritious food, exercise, make sure you get enough sleep, seven hours, at least seven hours, and that will make you feel better in the long run. Okay? Mm. Okay, so Darwina mentioned something very important that we have been mentioning throughout our videos. Firstly, is our mental health. Secondly is our nutritional health, and lastly is our physical activity. Okay, so all this will actually help us feel better, help us want to go out and interact with people. Uh, so that's why actually taking care of ourselves is actually one of the tips to help us reduce loneliness and also uh, isolation as well. So now let's, um, let us move on to our fourth tip. Okay, number four is strengthening your existing relationships right now, okay? So with those people that you have around you right now, strengthen those relationships by calling them more often, checking them, uh, checking in on them. Um, you can also go out with them or suggest different activities for you to do together. Okay, if you find it very difficult to reach out to so many, take your time, um, take it slow, um, meet up one person at a time and just remember that having a strong social support is beneficial for your mental health. Hmm. We have talked about this many, many times. So what can we do to strengthen these relationships? 
跟别人的关系呢？第一个可能是跟他们出去呢，跟他们出去打电话，跟他们聊天。我知道有时会感到哇。很多朋友们啊，怎很多朋友怎么办呢 ？Sometimes I know we'll feel like, uh, so many friends. How I'm gonna start doing this? Right, so tiring, 很累。Mm. 不用担心，我们一个一个来。We start slow, one by one. Reach out with to those that are closer with first. 开始啊、呃，跟那些比较啊、呃、亲密的朋友们一起出去，一起接触，先慢慢慢慢的建立这些关系 ，slowly build this relationship up, because. Remember, 记得我们这个有一个很好的这个社交的这个支撑的这个啊，呃，支撑的网络会帮助我们的精神上的健康。Having a strong social support network actually helps our mental health. So now let let us move on to our fifth tip. 让我们去讲解我们第五个提示。Okay, number five is to get support. Okay, so sometimes loneliness is um. Very personal to you. Sometimes you don't like to share with your friends, lah. You don't want to burden them, lah. So I have resource where you can reach out to trained people who are willing to talk to you and support you whenever you're feeling emotionally overwhelmed. Okay. So I am going to put it up on the screen. Um, I'll get Alvin to do that so you can get someone to speak to. Okay. Hmm. The fifth tip is ah. 我们我怕啊、呃，我们知道跟朋友跟这个孤独和寂寞的这个问题是一个很个人的问题 ，something very personal. You might not want to share with other people. 你不不想跟别人分享，因为你觉得跟他们分享了，你会觉得你给给他们带来一个包袱。不用担心，大卫娜啊会在这个视频里放上一个 slide. We'll put a slide up to show you different hotlines to get professional help. 啊、呃，这个 slide 里面会有这些电话号码。就是你们可以打给这些专业人士啊，跟他们诉苦啦，跟他们一起讲解啊你们的问题啊，你们也可以把这个这些号码，如果知道有朋友们需要帮忙的，可以传给他们。If you know of a friend who actually needs help, you can also send these numbers to them as well. So let us go and see the hotline, and also let's do a summary of all the points we have ah、uh, mentioned today. 我们去看看这个这些热线。还有做一些一个小小的总结啊，总结我们今天所说的这些提示，好吗 ？Let's go， 我们去吧谢谢大家 ，Thank you for watching our video today. 很感谢你们看我们今天的视频。I hope this topic of loneliness and isolation is something helpful to all of you. 我希望我们今天谈的这个孤独和寂寞的这个课题对你们来说是很啊很有帮助的。我们要感谢大维娜 ，Let us thank Davina for sharing with us all this information. 跟我们分享这些知识。Thank you, Darina. 谢谢大卫娜。Thank you for having me today.、Mm. Okay, all our friends, remember we have still have exercise tomorrow. 我们的朋友们记得，我们明天还有运动，好吗？一样时间 ，same timing at eight thirty, 八点半。I'll see you tomorrow. 我们明天见了，拜拜。再见。